Hello, dear students who are going to appear CA final audit in May 24. Whether you are a fresher or you are transitioning from November 23 to May 24, I would not like to use the word repeater because repeaters are the biggest fighters. All right. So whether you are a fresher or you're a fighter, all right. For everyone, I'm coming up with a study strategy, full one-shot strategy, piecemeal strategy uh, for my in-house students, for students who have not enrolled with me. And let me tell you, I'm going to also cover up. All right. I'm going to also cover up that exactly what I say is expecting from you. What kind of weightage they have given to each particular chapter. All right. What kind of questions they are going to ask. Yes. So, what do we say that? Sun sunny case kulasa. <laughs> oh, South India students, don't worry. Video will be in complete English. Only that one phrase was in Hindi. So, this video will be in simple English so that every one of you can understand. All right. Now, study strategy it starts from 15th Jan 2024. Today is 13th Jan and I'm uploading the video on 13th Jan. Now, wait. If you're watching this video later on, 20th Jan, 25th Jan, then you can adopt the strategy accordingly. Don't worry. Okay. I've kept that. I've, 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 I've given that enough buffer time over here. So, there are two categories of students. One, who prepare one-shot strategy. All right. That they want to take up one subject, take it and finish it off. Other ones who go for piecemeal strategy. That every day they cannot read audit for more than two to three, three hours. All right. Basically, they want to see me every day. <laughs> All right. So, that is another category of students. So, first you decide which category of student you are. All right. Sir, what do you recommend? See, I really cannot recommend one out of this. Although I am more inclined towards piecemeal, but I really cannot say that, okay, piecemeal is best for you. Every single category of student has its own thinking. All right. So that is why the first decision that you are going to make is that you are from which category. Okay. Now, when we talk about one shot strategy, if you are my in student, you have already taken lectures from me and stuff. Okay. Then in that case, obviously, you need to focus on this side only. That is the self-study part. Okay, but if you are a student transitioning from 23 to May 24, then you may consider uh, enrolling for our fast track courses. No marketing intended over here. That is completely your decision. But at least we need to inform you that there is something that we have to offer. Correct. Now, if you are into this one shot strategy, self study, okay, then 12 days into 12 hours. First eight days, eight hours essay, four hours non essay. Next four days, eight hours non essay, and four hours essay. That is how you will plan it. Wait, wait. I'll, I'll talk about the approach and everything later on. Just first the schedule. Okay. Now, if you're going with my fast track course, then fast track course live is starting from 17 Jan to uh, 4th February. Then you can give that full slot, you know, 3.30 to 9. We have fast track courses recorded backup and everything is there. And in the morning slot, you can do the revision. If you don't want to come live, then you can go for the recorded version, fully recorded version. And you can watch the lectures and also prepare it. So in that case, you can go with 15 days into 12 hours, 6 hours of lecturing and 6 hours of self-study. Sequence to be followed is as, the, as per the sequence uploaded in the recorded course. Okay. Just the schedule first. Piecemeal strategy. We're going for self-study. Then 45 days into 3 hours or if you are going for fast track course, then also 45 days into 3 hours. First you have to finish essay and then non-essay in case of self-study. And in case of my fast track course, you have to follow the sequence of the lectures. Okay. Now, everyone, let us say if you start by 1st Feb, then 45 days will end on 15th March. And let us say if you start 15th Feb, one short strategy. Correct? Then 12 days, so around Feb end you will end. So basically, everyone is supposed to uh, everyone is supposed to finish their first study properly, all right, by 15th March 24. Okay. Now, from 15th March 24, if you can finish it earlier, I'll be very happy. But at least by 15th March, it should be done. Now, from 15th March 24 till 10 days before exams. I'm not giving you an exact date because this is the election year, so it is very much possible that the exams may be conducted in the last week of May or something. So from 15th March till the uh, till 10 days before exam or till 15 days before exam, whatever is your comfort level. All right. Every day, 45, 60 minutes. All right. You should revise and attempt my unit wise test. Okay. So unit wise uh, test, sir, uh, how we are going to get access if you have not enrolled for your lectures. See, whether you have enrolled for my lectures or not, I will be uploading the test papers on the app and I'll keep I'll keep that those PDFs unlocked. I'll also give the marking scheme. 
all right and in that marking scheme you can prepare it okay i mean you can self evaluate also however for the in house students uh, in march and april i'll be conducting lots of doubt solving sessions so in those doubt solving sessions zoom sessions you can attend live and you can get the paper evaluated all right and those details of zoom sessions in march and april you can take it from my team but it will be almost like once in two days or even regularly okay so this this is your schedule if you really attempt the unit wise test and stuff you will feel very much comfortable all right and uh, you are going to feel better all right you will feel confident for sure right and then obviously last 1.5 day strategy during the day of exams i'll tell you and if at all we get a bonus leave or something in during audit paper then it is great all right so don't worry about it and this much preparation is enough okay uh, there are lots of non essay chapters that have been deleted if you are transitioning from november 23 to may 24 so the syllabus is really manageable all right it's it's doable okay now this is just the schedule and how broadly you are going to plan it out if i talk about the approach okay if i talk about the approach now listen to me for knowing the approach it is very very important that you should go through the initial pages <coughs> of the icai module when we go to the initial pages of the icai module let us first talk about standards all right so for the first first 11 chapters are about standards so in my book i have printed 46 standards at once so and the sequence is you know that the sequence which i have taken in the lecture but if you have attended lectures once then you can adopt one to last sequence also that's also is fine you can go in ascending order also so you can keep on finishing or you can go in these sequence all right this sequence is also good all right let us a quality control finish sa220 sqc1 and stuff so what you can do is when you are going in this sequence let us say if you are finishing this sa220 sqc1 all right finish it from our material no need to reconcile it with the icai module this is for the freshers who have taken the new book from my side for the students who studied earlier under old syllabus with me they may just have a glance and you will know that okay boss i have already given you the updated notes and everything all right on my telegram channel whatever is updated i have given it over there so that study material thing should be sorted and if you are a student who is not with me then in that case any which ways you can follow your professor's notes also my only request is just glance through the module you know you should feel comfortable that yes module is getting covered Now, when we look at general auditing principles and auditors' responsibilities, you see these essays they have discussed in detail. For the essays that they have discussed in detail, please expect theory questions, application-based question, everything. Okay. Right? However, if you see, they have clearly pointed out few essay numbers, which they say have been discussed at inter-C level. Only application-based questions can be asked at final C level. So, for these essays, you should not waste time in by-hearting every single line. You should go very fast. And even if you do it from my revision content, or if you even know it broadly conceptually, then also it is fine. All right. So, there you have to go with fast reading. Okay. If similarly, if you see, you know, just go glance through the module. Whatever they have discussed in detail, expect questions also in detail. Whatever they have discussed in summary, expect good questions, but mostly on application-based part. All right. so that is how you are supposed to deal with this okay that should be your approach for standards so every single line ko by heart nahi karna hai you don't have to memorize every single line i hope you are getting my point okay so that is something which should relax you obviously uh and this audit report chapter being very very sensitive please do it in detail when you look at chapter 5 and 6 they have printed essays in summary but if you see my book i have given some detailed content because i was not satisfied with the summary given in the module because when we look at their questions the level of question is such that you need some detailed content all right and if you are my uh, student of old syllabus then anyways you had detailed content for the new syllabus students i am just convincing them that why i have given detailed content all right so similarly you know you can understand that that should be your approach for standards at the end of the day if you are covering whatever was discussed by me then it is more than enough and if you are not my student then in that case at the end of the day whatever was discussed in the module whatever is given in the module if you are covering it then it is more than enough i hope i'm i have made myself very very clear for standards okay sir i have retention issues sir i have problems then do little bit of writing practice okay for my students they would have done some writing practice in the lectures only for the students who are not my students then in that case now you are my student if you are looking at this video <laughs> then in that case you can prepare some notes and stuff and do your little bit of writing practice or best you know i told you that unit wise test series and stuff if you just take it up you will feel much better 
you don't have to buy test series from me separately for the students who are my in house students all right they are going to get the papers plus an option to get it corrected from me and for everyone else i'm going to upload it for free on my app don't worry about it okay i'm not selling test series separately for audit subject okay so that is with respect to standards on auditing sir do you really think standards on auditing are important sir what is the weightage sir i am going to blow off your mind all right look at this so this is a document prepared in october 2022 and i am very happy that ici shared it openly for us to get some kind of uh, you know grip over what kind of expectations they have from the students all right uh so this was when the new syllabus draft and everything was getting prepared so you can consider this almost as the geeta bible quran everything all right for a new syllabus if you see over here in section 1 they've put quality control general auditing principles and the same content you are seeing in the module so you can understand that this was the final draft it seems all right they've put it they've put things over here section 1 mein so uh they covered till 11th chapter okay that means the standards now they are very clear that the weightage will be 50 marks 45% to 55% very clear on that okay however i say it is 55 to 60 marks But there are some concepts in non essay which you cannot do it unless you know essays all right okay so that is why i would always say it is 55% or 60% okay now look at this the level of questions that they are expecting level 2 and 3 for chapter 1 to 7 okay till audit report level 2 and 3 and level 1 for chapter 8 to 11 now what is this level 2 and 3 and level 1 what is this level 1 2 and 3 now this was a scan from the meeting so i'll just try to show it level 1 is knowledge and comprehension theory level 2 is analysis application okay and level 3 is evaluation and synthesis level 2 analysis application so external confirmation request can i send it through email and can i do something like i can send a mail to the management and then management can forward it to third party now if you feel that there is an element of doubt right then you don't know the essay application based wise all right and i have whether my old syllabus or new syllabus when i was discussing essays whether in old syllabus or new syllabus i have kept the same level of tempo and i have already already discussed it application based wise all right so that should not be a problem so analysis and application that is analysis and application evaluation and synthesis is when they fetch you when they take you till the audit report stage all right so what will be your final conclusion on something okay what if i give you audit of byju's today what will be your conclusion on its going concern aspect all right so that is called as level 2 and level 3 for chapter 1 to chapter 7 so whenever you are studying study it in such a manner that you don't have to buy heart every single line you should know two two points per concept if at all some theory is asked however you should know it very practically and properly and in an application based style all right so that is the thing and then the new standards that have been introduced 800 series sre sai and srs they are expecting only level 1 that is knowledge and comprehension even if you look at their test or knowledge question you will understand two two line ke questions although there are some really good application based questions that can be asked from those standards which i have discussed in my lectures however broadly they are going in that style of theory questions all right so that is very clear now digital auditing 5 marks Okay, so they are very clear on that. It can be level one and level two. Normally, I am expecting knowledge and comprehension based questions only in digital auditing. Although there are some practical concepts that they have discussed over there, where they can ask some application based question. Section three, which they are covering, audit of CFS group audit, then uh, audit of banks and NBFZ, audit of PSU, <coughs> internal audit. Uh, okay, then investigation, due diligence, and forensic. over there they are saying very clear that it will be of 20 marks so that is something where you can expect to score full marks also yeah if you do it properly however the big change from old syllabus to new syllabus is that they are very clear that we are going to ask level 2 questions so expect if it is a audit of cfs expect a question on uh, which companies are supposed to prepare cfs not supposed to prepare cfs something on disclosures all right not pure theory like what is the responsibility of parent entity give four points take four marks and stuff although those points are there but we can understand where they are inclined more 
then when it comes to audit of banks expect npa kind of question when it comes to audit of nbfc expect the practical questions on the classification of nbfc or something like that okay now when it comes to psu you can expect practical question on what is propriety what is performance they will give you one type of audit and they will ask you to find out which one is propriety audit which one is performance audit or right? such kind of thing so it is not going to be just head point two points head point two points internal audit although there is a very less possibility of application based questions apart from one or two concepts over there all right and in uh, investigation due diligence forensic there is always a possibility of practical questions however forensic in old course was always asked in the form of theory and even in the new course it does not feel that they have included lots of practical points so if they really want to ask application based questions has to be from investigation and due diligence all right although obviously forensic there are lots of new points all right so we will not uh, ignore it because there are amendments in that okay amendments i'm saying for the transitioning people for students who have studied fresh under may 24 only don't worry about it now for esg sdg they are very clear level 1 and level 2 normally i'm expecting level 1 question all right five marks maybe how many questions they will ask them all right and professional ethics oh yo look at the weightage i think this is going to bring a big smile on your face level 2 and level 3 especially in may 23 and november 23 students who were really ditched in professional ethics all right with the amount of questions that they had asked so i think this is very clear level 2 and level 3 obviously uh, this is still indicative at the end of the day if they feel that they want to change it is possible but as you can see whatever was discussed over here this is october 22 then new modules were released in june 23 they have followed exactly the same thing in the new module in the content so it seems like this is their final draft all right and it really really gives us a good perspective of what kind of questions are there they are expecting all right so please 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 you know accordingly you should set your approach sir can you share this pdf uh, no <laughs> please take the screenshot if you want one okay then two second screenshot and third i hope this is very clear now so when we talk about strategy i have given your schedule okay this is the schedule whatever is the preferable schedule you can uh, adopt that particular schedule okay second reading schedule test series that you are going to solve and i have also discussed about the approach for studying all right that how should be your approach just keep the module open which will make you feel comfortable all right okay otherwise uh, for the students who have studied under the complete under completely the new syllabus with me all right uh, or they have taken lectures after the new syllabus was announced all the time i have shared some uh, recordings of old syllabus where the things were exactly the same don't worry in the new books and stuff all the module questions and everything is there for the students who have studied under old syllabus i have already shared uh, the amendments and stuff with you now the only thing that is not with you is the module questions that i have not cut out separately in a pdf so please in your solution when you are solving when you are reading please cover the module questions and if there is any doubt i am always there all right i will help you to get through this but you need to stay connected with me you need to trust me all right and i will always trust you okay come on all the very best i hope that this video has been an eye opener for you so that whatever time you are giving to audit subject that time is a fruitful one and when you get an exemption do come with do uh, you know report me and even if you clear group 1 may not have got an exemption or it fine do come back to me after may 24 and if you have if you don't clear by any chance which is theek hai yaar it's a possibility all right although i pray the best for you then you should always come back to me i am always there to help you know you can ask my november 23 students who did not clear i am standing right there with them all right all the very best